Today we have the Aorus FE43U Brightness Powerhouse versus the Samsung Odyssey Neo G7 43-inch Mini LED Monitor. Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Showcasing Mortal Kombat 11 on these two amazing VA monitors. 43 inches truly is an immersive experience on the PC. We're going to be talking about a couple of things of what I'm seeing and I hope you can see that on screen. Now while both of these monitors are VA, at 60 to 120Hz like on next generation consoles, even at 144 on the PC, I have yet to see any smear or trail that would hinder the gaming experience and both can be had at amazing prices. But we do have to get into the differences to help you make that awesome buying decision. Now with 360 zones with mini LED power on the Neo G7 versus the 8 zones of the Aorus. For this specific video, I do have local dimming turned off on the Aorus. I want to show you the true brightness power of each monitor. But it's not all about brightness because you do need those zones to give you that inky picture. Like in this scene with Scorpion. Look at this black area right next to his hand. On the Aorus, it's a tad gray or dark gray. But on the Neo G7, it's truly black or as close to being black as possible. Now I don't see any blooming in this specific picture because there's a whole bunch of brightness going on everywhere and your eyes really can't adjust. But it's the best you're going to get on a monitor currently on the market today. That's not OLED. We're talking about 650 nits on the left to about 450 to 500 on the right. So there's a trade-off. Brightness, power, and impact versus a little bit lower brightness but you get a much better, deeper picture. And with no smear. Feel free to pause the video friends, you won't see any. We're not talking about double images or anything like that because the camera can capture these kinds of things. And if you freeze frame any video anywhere, you're going to see a double image. We're talking about a smear here, a gray or black smear. You won't see any. Nothing that hinders the experience. Here with Robocop vs Rambo, you can see on the Neo G7, the picture looks deeper. To me, it looks a tad better. But nothing takes away from the QLED panel on the Aorus. Look how vibrant, look how awesome both of these monitors really look. I mean, at the end of the day, I would honestly pick the Neo G7. Just because it's a well-rounded monitor, you get smart features, smooth motion for gaming, that mini LED power, and a superior HDR experience because of those mini LEDs. While on the Aorus, they're going for pure brightness power, but you still get the vibrancy of that QLED panel. But it doesn't play as nice with next generation consoles like on the Neo. Hence, that's why I say the Samsung Odyssey Neo G743 is technically a better buy. Overall, I mean. I mean, I love both of my monitors. Basically, if you play a lot of civilization or static imagery, the QLED of the Aorus is the better buy. Everything else, the win goes to the Neo G7. Remember friends, the reason why the Aorus looks this good is that it has a QLED panel and it also has a black equalizer. Many monitors don't have that feature. So when you add the brightness power and that black equalizer, images can really pop. For example, in this explosion, look at that brightness difference. The mini LEDs cannot get that bright because now this is not a peak highlight. So you get the brightness advantage on the Aorus, but the contrast is a bit lower. Look at that Neo G7. It's not as bright, but you can easily see the contrast is higher, and that's because of the mini LEDs. So you gotta give and take with these two technologies. Both are amazing and offer different things. Both exceptional quality for the price. At this size, one thing that hasn't been talked about enough is the viewing angles. Yes, the Samsung Neo G743 has better viewing angles than the Aorus. So just keep that in mind because that may be important to you. Here with Sindel, you can see the QLED on the left is brighter than the Neo G7. Both are at 100. And in certain scenes, games, and movies, yes, the Aorus does look nicer, even with local dimming turned off. But with the peak highlights and a more 3D-ish picture, the Neo G7 does win. Again, friends, showing you the differences to help you make that awesome buying decision. In this specific video, it looks like the Neo G743 takes the win. Both can be had at amazing prices. And before we go, just a tidbit, the Samsung Odyssey Neo G7 43 inch model on the right is based on the 43 inch QN90B TV of last year. So if you were wondering, you can check out all that information on the ABS forums. So a bit older technology, but by no means bad in any way, at awesome prices. So friends, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find it helpful, please hit that like button so more people can see it to help them make that awesome buying decision. Consider subscribing if you want more information on these two amazing monitors. Feel free to ask any questions down below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching friends. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time. How long did your army train? Four years at the academy. I shall live, train for life. Round one, fight. <laughs>